Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting an issue with your host controller interface. So if you have an issue with this, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to start by navigating over to an Intel website I'm going to have in the description of the video, specifically for the Intel driver update utility. So I'm going to have this link in the description of my video. I want you guys to just copy it directly out of my description. And then you want to go up to this website here. It should be something that says Intel Driver Support. So you want to scroll down on this page until you get to where it says Download Now. Please note that it is an Intel domain up at the top, www.intel.com. It's directly from their website. And you want to go ahead and just left click on the Download Now button right there. It might take a few moments to download. It's about 15 megabytes, so not too big at all. Once it's done downloading, just lock on at one time. And you should be able to minimize or close out of your web browser at this time. If you receive a file notice, left click on run. Once you're done going through the end user license terms, check mark aside this box to agree to the terms and then left click on install. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. And this will take some time to process there. Should say system update completed. Left click on launch. So at this point, just left click on launch. It'll walk you through the process. I'm in a virtual environment. It's not actually going to let me go all the way through. But just so you guys know, it should open up a new window, Intel driver update utility. Start the scan, and then it should suggest some driver updates. And then I would suggest selecting wherever it suggests that you download, and then select the download button. And that should hopefully be about it. So I do hope this tutorial was able to help you guys out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.